I mean, these guys are so serious about these kingfish. Yeah, man, I, you know, we catch kingfish, but we don't, that's just part of what we do. Nope. We don't chase them around. Nope. I'm a oh, look at that. Oh, oh what was that? What me? I got him, I got him. Woo! Promised land. <laughs> Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. We're in one bubble blade in case I gotta cut another hook out, and that's it. Hey, what about uh like them jigging poles that you had, them two with the 50 on them? My my Shimano's? Yeah. The stiffies? Yeah. Alright, let's get me in there. Maybe two of them and two of the light ones. I opened it already. Got your buddy Eric was coming down that you fish with a lot in tournaments and I was kind of excited about it because, I mean, these guys are so serious about these kingfish. Yeah, man, I, you know, we catch kingfish, but we don't, that's just part of what we do. We don't chase them around fishing for one big fish. Man, they go to the extremes. I mean, Eric's new boat's 39 yellowfin with quad 300s. It goes 71 miles an hour. Yeah, And video when cameras we, everywhere. The live wells have video cameras, so when they're going 70 miles an hour, they can, don't have to look back and move around because you gotta be locked in. You gotta be, I mean, these have big teams. They have six, seven guys on the boat doing 70, 200 miles a day each way. And you know, that boat was definitely rigged for it. But I was just happy he brought it down for us to try and use and then actually take us king fishing uh, for one of these big ones like this. You know, we, we catch the big ones by accident. Yeah. They don't. Well, it's a big deal. I mean, there's a lot of guys spend a lot of time and a lot of money. It's a huge circuit. They travel all over the country fishing for these things. Um, they got a lot of tricks. Uh, it was an experience for me. I know it's it's not a numbers game. It's just one fish. So <laughs> everything like he would suggest. Well, let's run over here, and I'm like, well, that's 50 miles that way. No problem, you know. <laughs> 50 miles that way. There we go. That's, the bait is 80 miles. Yeah. Well, the bait 80 miles over there. And no like, problem. Uh, you know. So now, Eric's guys, all about that. He has the best uh, equipment money can buy. He takes care of it, and if he gets if something latest and greatest comes out, he'll have it and using it and know how to use it in no time. I mean, we have live wells with giant pumps and we keep hundreds, if not thousands of pilchards on board on a typical day. They take it up another notch. They have oxygen as well as big pumps. And you see the, the, the pump package on that boat? It was built in with six different 1500 pumps valved all over the boat. At any given time, they could go from one pump to three per live well just to keep these, whatever they do catch, you know, they like the blue runners, the goggle eyes, big, big hardy baits. Um, they're not about the pilgers like we are. But man, to go to the extremes of having oxygen on board to keep your baits that much happier, it's, it's taken our, our level of thinking to another level. It's where we've come after all these years. I mean, that thing has everything you can imagine. Like, like I said, the video cameras, the, the joystick piloting, the, uh, the endless uh, amenities on that vessel from the beanbag chairs to the stereo system <laughs> to the, you know the 39 feet of walk around space it was uh, it was a different animal the seats on the rocket launcher alone I mean it just it's a really really neat boat look at all the stuff in the water yeah it's so crazy. some kind of spawn happened Marking. Is this that kind of, if you went down to the bottom, it'd be all murky to the bottom 10, 20 feet, couldn't see anything yeah, going? Yeah, it'd be totally murky, yeah. Scary? Yeah. Big tiger shark be bumping into you. Here comes the wreck. <laughs> right on it. What's this spot, Stevie? It's uh, called the stern event. Is it another wreck? Yeah, just a big giant wreck here. You know, we got out there, we are in the summer, it's not a kingfish time of year. That tournament is run, all those kingfish tournaments run in the winter. And we went out there and uh, we had a lot of struggles, you know, with getting bait because it was so hot. I mean, the water yeah, temperature was- It was June, was... man. That's a blue runner, baby. Good Go. job. Good deal. That's a three hooker. <laughs> Got him, Walker. Right on the bottom, baby. Didn't even hook yourself. 
There's, there's opportunity. There's three looking for me. Fish was as far away from the lead as possible. Where was that, right on the bottom? Yeah, right on the bottom. All right, number two. Dude, there are cigar minnows all over this thing. Walker, I'll remember that. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Mercury Marine, celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. And by Under Armour, Seaguar, and Ameritrail. 90 feet. Dude, there's cigar minnows all over this thing. Walker. I'll remember that. I had something, I dropped it. It's worth coming here with your boat for one day for a tournament. As far down as you can see. I'd like you to start catching them right now. You know what? I take this sardine before anything else. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, it might be a dolphin sideways. They're making babies. What? Look at that sardine. Full pull. One giant, one of each. Oh. All on the bottom order or where? Uh, that didn't make it to the bottom. These are full grown cigars, they're speedos, baby. The water temperature was 90 degrees. Um, we, we, we tried some spots in the golf, didn't really work out. We, we caught some new bait on some of the markers around the fort. And Eric was sure we were gonna catch a fish over 30. I mean, he, was, he knew it. Yeah, we went out to a, a pretty well-known kingfish hole where there's a lot of real big fish. Um, we got there and we, we, we slow trolled, put the rigs out, and we caught a lot of a lot of sharks. You mm -hmm. know, uh, Our which, best friends. Which is going to happen because all the snappers are spawning and the sharks are in there with that. Um, yeah, a lot of times we think a cutoff is a shark, mm -hmm. but those guys know that it's, it's these 40 no, pounds. 50 pound kingfish, or you know, he can look just like a shark. Mm -hmm. But um, and he's going to eat a five pound, a four, three, four, five pound yellowtail right Oh, no up. problem. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Are you out of, the, out of the motors? We good? Yeah. We clear? I mean... Newtons. Okay. Stick your line. Oh, he is. Fish on, baby. Five minutes. Where's that sardine? You got the pick. Not sure, boss. Doesn't feel real kingfishish. Kind of solid. Coming up, kind of right now. You know, he's not staying real deep. Where's that big rock pile? Are you swimming away from it? Or to it? Is it all time? Out of gear. Jake. A big reef shark. Huh? A reef shark. Yep. Yeah. He's been bit. Having oh, yeah. a little love. Making love. On the surface. Oh, reef shark, Bubba. Something just died back there. You got a bait out? Yeah, I got a bait out there. All right, well, it ain't a kingfish, but let me tell you what. On a day like today, slick calm as it is. Hey, shark man, look what you got. Dude. This, this thing's been um, fooling around. He's got bite marks all over him. He must have just, got, just did a little spawn on that moon. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish for this little rod. Oh my God, yeah. Who just said those are yellowtails? Oh yeah, they're big <laughs> rainbow runners. You want me to grab hold of them, let them go? We got time for one more fish. Yeah, you can pop them loose all you want. I could probably pop them loose. Let me zinc power. You got it? I'll do it. Don't want to hurt somebody. Somebody. I got him hooked so perfect. You don't want to zinc power. Boom. All right, here we go. Bring him up here a little higher and then pop him loose. Beautiful. Nice fish. 
He is definitely. That's a big, that's, you know, that's a reef shark, too. You know that, right? Big old reef shark. Going down. Woo! Okay, I need water. <laughs> I need a little, a little bit of different water. fishing for uh, Kings in July, oh. isn't it? The big boy's going crazy. Big boy's on. Fish on. That's not a shark. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Shimano, Costa Sunglasses, and Bass Pro Shops. Shimano Saragossa saltwater concept reel it just amazes us with what all these features are here. We got a lot of their spinning reels. Um, you know, we had an opportunity to use it with these uh, Saragossas. You know, it's the X ship. Dual bearing supported pinion gear that allows for no loss of power during the fight and a smooth retrieve. X tough drags, cross carbon waterproof drag system that allows for the smoothest of drags at all times. And that's huge. When you're putting 50, 40 pounds of drag on these spinning rods, on these big jacks and these sailfish and these tuna and grouper. You got to have something that can handle that torque when you're cranking on this handle. This reel does that. I love bottom fishing with these spinning rods though. Dinner is served, nice. baby! The other thing is the X Shield and X Protect combined to provide extreme water resistant in the harshest conditions. You have the one-piece bail, which we really love. What that does is allow the line to just flawlessly roll right into the roller on the bail roller. I mean, there's nothing smoother than having that one-piece bail. The spool has this little lip out here, so when you're making casts, this thing can cast a mile. And, that, and that's part of the fact that this lip that allows that line to come right off the spool. It's just a really cool reel and paired up with the, with the Therese rods. We were catching monster fish on these little outfits, and these are light. These are something your child can hold, it can handle and fight a fish all day long. Brand new flat ball jig. Get him in the boat before that one hook comes out of his jaw. Catch you some dinner. When we're down here in the rough water and the rough seas, and day in, day out, you need to have a good reel. And if you're looking for the very, very best, this is it. Well, you see, we ran many hours to find one fish, and it was a trophy fish. And, uh, we ran from spot to spot just to find it, and we find it. So, many times we run a couple hundred miles one way just to find one fish. We fish for 10 minutes and coming back. This is my fourth yellowfin I built, uh, two 24s and uh, two offshore boats. Specific this one we custom it. It's the first 39 that come to the tournament series. Uh, we equipped with four Mercuries, so it runs very fast. This boat being infused and is epoxy, so it's very light, very fuel efficiency. This boat, future, we have four tuna tubes that help us to keep bait alive longer, to keep different variety of baits that cannot live in a live well only in the tuna tubes, like Spanish macro, like small tunis that they main bait for our business. We have oxygen on the tanks to keep the life longer, you know, for the baits. We have cameras on the live wells so we can watch our baits as we're running to make sure they're all doing good. Basically, we put the spread, we start with the long, long line, so it clear the boat. And then we put the down rigger so we fish different columns on the, on, on the water. We see the fish on the machine and by the machine. The sim will show you exactly where the fish located by at the column, and uh, it's how we try to, you know, to attract the fish. We put different baits in different heights on the column until we catch the fish. When you're king fishing, what is the, the tournament you can't miss every year? I mean, which is the one you gotta be at? Because it's the big, it's, it's the biggest one, the most money, the most fun. Probably Key West. The Key West? The Key West is a good one. Is that for hogfish, mm -hmm. kingfish, king mackerel turn? What month of year is that? January. Hog, January? Hog's breath, Walker. The hog's breath? Yeah. 
That's where I see all the boats on the trailers, and I know, and there's no sailfish tournaments. Or maybe I don't even know. It might be Yacht Clubs of America now. I don't know yeah, now he's Yacht Clubs of America. Is that a crazy time for you as a guide, Steve? They're all over you. Oh, I leave late. <laughs> yeah, the second best one probably is Fushan, Louisiana. Is that Fushan? Yeah. Louisiana. Want to see more of Into the Blue? Well, you don't have to wait for the show to be on. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even our YouTube channel for full-length shows. We have some how-to videos, amazing pictures. We'd love y'all to come over, ask us some questions, post your own pictures, or just enjoy ours. See you there. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Marine Formula Stable, protects against the damaging effects of ethanol fuels in marine engines. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Tailwalker Charters and Spear One Charters. Here's our, here's our, here's our original honey hole. Okay. That's a big sardine, my friend. <laughs> That is not going to stay down very long. The big boy's going crazy. Big boy's on. Fish on. Just get that sardine down. Out, right? Yeah, that's it. we got good fish on. There's more fish popping back there. That's not a shark. There he is, baby. Yeah. Sorry, man. Oh, okay. okay. You good? All right, I'm gonna bring her around. You happy with the drag? Sure, I'll take it. Do not make me eat a shark, boys. What is the sardine? It's a sardine. It was off the down rigger. I got that. I got this. You don't want to leave it Staking, out? Staking, Scotty? Yes. Real easy, Scott. Just make it count. Fish on, baby. Whoop. He's coming up. Fish on. You got it? No. Nope. Nope. Hey, I'm gonna come. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, what was that? Big, big fish. What bait? I got, I got him. I got him. Okay. Easy now, boy. What rod's he on? <laughs> you got him on? Yep. All right. You on? Yep. Make sure that your rod is not I got down into the coral. Pick this, Scott. Bring it in. Check your rod. That's all I did. I loosened it up. Why well, you want to lose, right? I'm gonna leave this one out a little bit. Nope. Bring it in. Okay, let's go. Good. The one we're after. Good. Good. Hold on, hold there. Hold it. It's coming at us. He's a good fish, buddy. Yeah. He ate that sardine. Hey, he ate that sardine on top. Oh, oh the sardine. Scotty. Woo! Promised land. <laughs> all right. Anybody get it? You can stand next to me all so I see thing. if you want, Stevie. <laughs> he said, bring all those in. I missed, I heard you. I still saw him land. I'm gonna clean up. Tell me when you got colored. Still feeling on you? Yeah, yeah. He did, he did. He just stopped now, though. He's going again right now. He's right here, just kind of circling. Oh, fish is here. We don't move. Just walk He's around. a nice one. We don't, I don't want to put in gear. He's gonna struck out. Right at the motors. Keep right out of gear. He's right where he needs to be. Yes, baby. Woo! Oh, oh, he bounced off. Oh, yeah. Came up slowly. That's what we came oh. for right there, dude. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fish were in there for 15 minutes, baby. What do you think? 45? 44? Yeah. 40, yeah, maybe. 40, Look at big shark back here. Coming? 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Woo! Right. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Kingfish. 
King fish. Thank you, dude. <laughs> the best thing about the long day of, of the process of getting all this involved and getting ready and preparing the boat and getting the bait. And uh, so we get out there and, and then we catch a big kingfish and then let's go home. And I'm like, okay, you know, and, and that's, that's, you know me, I'm getting, I'm retwisting. I'm ready to start re-rigging Eric and you like, that's the, that's the big one. Yeah. And that's how they do it. Ultimately. I mean, you got to get back, you got to weigh the fish, you have a time slot. So it's just in his brain and in the program of kingfish and, and those tournaments is you catch a good fish, boom, you load him in the boat and you take off and you get back to the scales. And uh, that's basically what we did <laughs> without the tournament. And yep. I, yeah, I think that was the quickest I ever made it from the fort to Key West, uh, you know. Yep. Yeah, he was smiling ear to ear once, as soon as that thing was landed. Man, that fish was, you know, he was high 30s or mid 30s, I can't remember, but, you know, he he aired out. Just, I mean, just <laughs> yeah, we were looking, out for, like, looking up at, at, at this at Spanish that, mackerel. At the apex, he just stops yeah. for one second and then plunges back into the water, like, oh, my, and then your rod was, and they can scream a drag. They sure can. No, that's why they call them a smoker, man. They are such a fast fish. They got a great tail. They got these things that like you only find on like a mako, and you find these on a, a swordfish. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know exactly what they call them, but uh, you know any of those fish that have these little caudal things or whatever they are, right, the next, the right next to the tail, they, they're a powerful pulling fish. And, and a kingfish is definitely got a lot of power. You know, we're not going to eat these every day, but we are going to uh, get it smoked. And then we're going to have, you know, be able to entertain our friends with uh, fresh smoked fish for a long time. When they get this big, they just, they smoke up so nice. 